Hello, it's me, Eli, aka Slim. Another video, this one's a vlog. I am doing this a little bit to, you know, just document my process and how things work and how things develop. So that um, as I'm laying in bed wondering if I've made too many mistakes in my life, uh, I can look back on these and remember, hey, you've made progress, you do stuff, you did things. Here's a documentation of it. This video is gonna be about uh, Scattered Nexus, kinda. Um, this one, this video is gonna be about the comics I wish I could get into Scattered Nexus. Uh, it's weird. I have a game. It's a really cool game. Why doesn't, why don't, why don't all companies or studios or publications know that my game's awesome and they should get into it when I ask? You know, it's just, it's really hard getting uh, the attention from like big publishers and big names. Um, you know, I'm trying to go indie, so I try to, you know, pick indie groups, but still, you know, sometimes I'm knocking on doors, sending emails, sending messages, and I don't get anything back. So it's a little frustrating, but I really like a lot of them. So uh, my thinking is that one day I'll be big enough. They'll see. I just get enough following, you know, start making some money, um, get a large enough fan base to like the game, then I can, you know, show, you know, proof of concept that my stuff is awesome and they should totally join in. Um, a big ongoing theory is that I made Scattered Nexus just so that I could collect the comics that I like into a card game, which is true. That is exactly why I made Scattered Nexus. Um, I'm a big fan of all the comics featured in the game and them all being in one place where I can have them interact with each other is, makes me so happy. That's, yeah, you gotta, you gotta do what you like. So this video is just going to be me just throwing it out into the universe. Um, man, I sure hope this person or this group hears about this and would like to join my game. And, you know, these are people that I'm kind of probably always going to be trying to get them to join. Uh, so the categories are, there's three of them. They are very indie, which is just uh, comics that I don't think have publishing studios. I think a person just made it and then made it, it's made, and then they went and did some other stuff. Um, there's Webtoons and Tapastic. I just put those in one category. I guess this would count as like all web comic sites, kinda. Yeah, so all these lists are fairly short though. Uh, and then there's a couple companies that I've been trying to get into. Uh, one is Sourcepoint uh, Press, which does a lot of comics, and the other one's uh, Oni Press. You probably know Oni Press. I think that's the biggest one I have my eyes on. They've been doing a lot of board games lately. I feel like, you know, now's the time. Like, we should we should do some stuff, right? Anyway, very indie. Only two on this list. This one is um, Love Sucks for These Losers, uh, comic by uh, uh, Silrus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've never heard him say his name. I've just seen it written. Um, but yeah, it's about um, this high school, uh, very shonen, type high school. There's like a whole power system and tournaments going on often. Uh, but it's a very fun comic, uh, black and white, uh, uses uh, characters of color. Uh, and yeah, it's just very interesting. It feels very, it has that, that indie energy to it where it's like, there's something that the indie energy is that thing that's like, this isn't made for just massive success and consumption. It's made because these principles this person believes in and they're telling the story that they wanna tell. And I think it has a lot of that energy. Um, and yeah, I've been, I'm a big fan of their artwork and their story and I'm waiting for the next one and you know, I'm always checking for it. There's another um, comic creator, uh, uh, Mark Reed, which I'm keeping my eye on. He's a young creator. Um, you know, although I see his work all the time, he looks like he's going more into animation. If he gets a comic and sticks with it, I really would love to have him in there. Um, also, I'm not going to mention comics that are kind of already incoming. Like I have a couple connections with some new comics that haven't been featured in the game yet, but will be featured in the next year or two, depending on when I can get contracts signed. 
So I'll leave that alone. Um, then the other one is other comic in the very indie category is Strong Female Protagonist. Um, this one's by uh, uh, Brennan Lee Mulligan and uh, illustrated by Molly uh, Ostertag. Molly Ostertag. I hope I'm pronouncing these names right. I think I got uh, Brennan right, but everyone else, you know, asterisk. Um, so that one's really cool. Uh, Strong Female Protagonist. It's about a superhero with uh, super strength and um, his abilities, just trying to live life and trying to kind of deal with and navigate through what it means to be seen as a hero and trying to just kind of, like, they get into like a lot of stuff. It's just like having relationships, uh, expectations put on you. It's very, like, it's very strong in that regard. I really love that element of it. That's why Scatter Nexus is about indie comics is because you can get these interlaps, these, I mean, you can get these overlaps of concepts you wouldn't really think about. Um, but yeah, I would love that one for, um, because in, in Scatter Nexus, we have our 10 genres um, and I need every overlap of them. So like, it's really hard getting superhero slice of life. That's very difficult to track down at least. Everyone is so excited about the action and the fighting and the explosions, but like, hey, what happens when they go home, you know? Uh, so anyway, but yeah, I guess Brendan Lee Mulligan's a little busy these days. Uh, but anyway, one day, maybe, we'll see. Someone knows him, hey, if, you, if you're just like, just walking and you're like, oh, hey, Brennan. <laughs> if you're just in a, you know, you're just next to Brendan Lee Mulligan. You just look over it and then he's there. Be polite. Don't, don't like, don't scare him, but be like, oh, hey, there was this guy on YouTube who was trying to find you because he wants to do a thing with your comic. Yeah. Anyway, don't do that. Don't bother people, I guess. If you're his friend, I don't know. How do I, how do I get to contact with people? I don't know. It's like, because you try to send emails. <laughs> Emails, who reads emails, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Actually, tell me. If you have, you, you, you understand my situation here. There's amazing comics out there. And the sad part is that a lot of them are just sitting and dying. Like they're not working on them. Either. Like they've done, the, their comics are done. They're no longer doing that. They're doing something else now. I want that. Give me that. I want that comic. I love that comic. I want it in this game. You should let me put it in the game. Is it like, do I need to pay more money? Is that, do I need to like throw money at communicating with people? Do I need to set, set up a meeting? I don't know. If you have any ideas on how I could get more attention or try to communicate with people better or even just opening up that conversation. Social etiquette isn't my strong suit. So if there's some sort of very obvious way you're supposed to go about these things, please let me know. Uh, because I said I want to be doing this for the next uh, couple of years, so I, I'd love to get a handle on it. I also just love Brennan. He's so great. Anyway, sorry. I, I have, a, I have follow, uh, a lot of his stuff on YouTube, so I'm also uh, a big fan. Same thing happened when uh, Red from Aurora, an overly sarcastic podcast, was like, yeah, I'll join your game. I was like, oh, holy crap. <laughs> I've read all your stuff, I've watched all your stuff. Ah, oh, man, so anyway, okay. I'll stop fanboying out about it. All right, that's that category. You see why they're very short lists because I can't go too far into it. Tapasting and Webtoons. I'm a big fan of Tapasting and Webtoons. Uh, I was posting on there for a while, stopped, but there are a lot of comics that they have that I would love to get my hands on. But I don't know. It's like, um, even though I, like, my offer to a publishing studio would be like, hey, we can, like, go have these on profits. Like, if you give me the IP and you advertise for me, you can actually even take more of it. You're bringing more freaking uh, advertisement than I am. I'm just a dude. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, is it that they just don't think it would sell? I don't know. I don't think they're just taking it seriously. I think they just read an email and they're like, oh, then why would I pay attention to this guy? 
don't know, that's what it feels like anyway. But yeah, there's a bunch of comics on Webtoons and Tabastic that I'd uh, be interested in. And I'd even go further than that, even if they were just stories that were concluded, like, hey, we're done with these, we're not doing it anymore. I would love those. I really like a lot of those stories. Uh, Siren's Lament, I really enjoyed. Axe is one of my favorite web comics. Uh, Super Sonic Girl, that one's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot that, you know, and it could be just because it's me. I want those. Those are my favorite stories. I want them in my game. But um, I don't know. I think they would make really cool factions. Anyway, leave that alone. And then the um, um, Source Point and Oni Press actually have particular comics in those publications that I'd like. Um, Source Point Press is partnered with it's a sister company to uh, Deep Water Games under um, uh, like a subcategory of a larger company. Um, and I really love a lot of Deep Water Games like um, Sovereign Skies was a really good one. Uh, well, they made Welcome to this is awesome. Um, floor plans really cool. Like that. they have a lot of games that I like. They also have a lot of comics that I like. Uh, we're using some creators I've actually met. Um, but my idea for Source Point was I wanted to make a Oops No Humans faction. They have a lot of comics, uh, usually action, action y type comics, that are um, the protagonists aren't human. Um, so one of them's Good Boy. I really like that story. Um, it's like uh, John Wick, but reverse. Um, Red Ronin, I think that one's really cool. Um, Red Ronin, um, Warhorns, Frankie, Franklin and Ghost, those are all comics that I think are, would be a lot of fun to put in the game. Um, yeah, I just gotta figure out a way to get in there. Yeah, what is it? All in time. They, they actually have contacted me. We actually have had a couple conversations. Um, it's just that, um, yeah, it's, they're always far in between. Um, and then, uh, lastly, uh, Oni Press, which, uh, of course, they did, uh, Scott Pilgrim, which is the one you might be, uh, might know them for. Sadly, I don't think, is Scott Pilgrim still indie? If, if you get a movie, are you still, <laughs> are you still an indie comic? They're pretty big now. There's a bunch of stuff about Scott Pilgrim. Um, but... They have a couple other uh, comics that I think are cool. Um, there's what, um, uh, Jonah. There's uh, the Tea Dragon Society. There's uh, Blink. Um, yeah, and of, and of course Scott Pilgrim. I don't know if, if they even offer, I'm not sure if Scott Pilgrim fits. If they were like, hey Eli, we really want to get Scott Pilgrim in your game as a faction. Would it be romantic action, maybe? What factions do you think is going I guess it would have to be action romance. Huh. I'll have to see. Do they have five characters? They have, yeah, Scott, Ramona, Freckles, uh, a gay roommate, Knives. Okay, there's, yeah, there's plenty. They have a big cast. Uh, but anyway, sorry. I keep rambling. I will stop the video here. I really like comics, guys. That's really, that's really what it is. Uh, and I really like games. So this is a topic that I'm really excited about. And uh, I have more. If you guys like this video, like me nerding out about freaking comics I'm fans of, uh, please let me know. I can make a lot of these. There's a lot of comics out there that I'm a big fan of that I'd love to dive deeper into. But let's, we can talk about some other stuff too. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.